thank you for the opportunity to to visit with your with your group about the added value programs that Superior Livestock offers. Um, in addition to to the verified natural or the the added value programs and the vaccination programs that we that we uh, note in our catalog when we're selling cattle with Superior. We wanted to take an opportunity with you to, to review some of those added value programs. But first off, thank uh, Merck Animal Health for their help and their relationship with, uh, with Superior Livestock and, and their, uh, their efforts there. To, uh, to start the day, I wanted to, to visit with you a little bit about the, the program, the added value programs, and we'll follow the, the uh, the program, their added value program listing on Superior's new website. If you're interested in following up or learning a little bit more about those programs after we get done here, the, uh, the listing will is over under how it works and the added value programs that way. And then it, uh, the other tabs that come up are verified natural programs, nutrition programs, vaccination programs, and it discusses several other opportunities that, that you'll see uh, when cattle or calves uh, are marketed on superior livestock. The first program here is, is uh, the superior verified with IMI. This essentially is a third party verification, uh, age and source verification program for your calves. That, is, uh, that relationship was developed between superior and IMI Global but know that there are about 15 other companies out there <clears throat> that, offer, that offer the opportunity to age and source your calves. The reason Superior is, is in partnership with IMI Global back 15 or 18 years ago, um, IMI Global was one of the first companies to come online to work with USDA and with Superior to, uh, to indicate or to verify age and source. To get the cattle agent sourced, it's relatively straightforward. You're, um, it is a third party audit, but essentially they're looking for your first calf, last calf uh, dates born. And once those are verified, then, then IMI Global will provide you with RFID tags to put in the calves ears, just to know which calving group that we're working on or that you, you are offering for sale. Uh, that's what su separates the superior and the IMI program usually or the superior tags are actually pink tags, pink RFID tags uh, that are that you'll see oftentimes in the video or on the calves that that are offered. The second one, the second opportunity down here is just the is the strictly age and source and it it's a it's uh, designated because of their, there are other companies, as I mentioned formally, that, uh, that do agent source programs. They're not, uh, they're not quite as extensive as IMI, uh, but they do verify agent source and the cattle are tagged with RFID tags. To participate in, in other added value programs, the calves do need to be agent sourced. So that's essentially the first step you take. Once those are, once the calves are, are age and sourced, then you're able to, or your calf crop can participate in other added value programs. The first one that's listed here on Superior's website is GAP, which stands for Global Animal Partnership. And essentially what GAP does is it verifies, you know, how the cattle are taken care of, where they're located, um, how they're handled primarily. In order to participate in GAP, the cattle do need to be verified natural or be owner certified uh, natural. And additional paperwork is, is associated with those programs. And if you've never, if you've ever been through a GAP uh, application or a GAP audit, uh, it's like going to the doctor's office. You have quite a lot of <laughs> quite a lot of questions to answer and things to verify in order to participate. The cattle that are, for the most part, the cattle that are GAP certified will go on to um, 
uh, to sell in high-end retail markets uh, so that the consumer knows how the cattle have been, where they came from, and how the cattle have been handled and fed through the, through the entire process. The next program that, that, is, that is noted here on the website is beef care. Beef care is essentially, or very, very similar to the GAP process or the GAP certification. Um, the difference is, is the this particular program, instead of being created by the Global Animal Partnership uh, Board, it has been created by where food comes from or the essentially the parent company for IMI Global. Again, it's it involves uh, environmental stewardship, the care of the animal, how they're handled, where they're uh, where they're fed, those kinds of things. The primary difference between these two programs is there are several packers uh, that are that do buy uh, gap cattle from the feed yards, uh, and and they do the same thing with beef care. It's essentially the difference between uh, how many packers are buying buying beef care cattle compared to the number of packers that are that are buying and and uh, harvesting uh, gap cattle. As I mentioned before, all of the the added value programs uh, that that are noted in the catalog or on on television when we're having a sale have to be age and source verified. And the NHTC is a non-hormone treated animal that uh, that is age and sourced as well, so that we can keep up with those cattle uh, if they've had to be treated or if they've had uh, ionophores or hormones. Um, they would obviously not be able to participate in this, but the, the non-hormone treated cattle do have a specific place to go. And we see a lot of these NHTC cattle go to Western Europe uh, once, they, once they're fed and, uh, and harvested here in the United States. Traditionally, we'll see a, a $150 to $200 uh, premium from the, from the NHTC cattle, or when we, when we sell the NHTC cattle, um, and it is very dependent on the demand that the, that the, the consumer in those areas um, are, are looking for. It's, uh, it's a program that, that has worked well. It, it does serve a very specific uh, process. There are consumers that obviously don't want to consume any uh, beef product that, that has been associated with, with hormones or uh, ionophores or antibiotics. The Verified Natural Program, this is an owner certified verified natural which essentially means you use the producer of those animals can have them involved or enrolled in a program. But the, the difference is um, with the verified natural, they, you do have to participate on, in a third party audit. Uh, traditionally, the, the auditor will come to the ranch or come to the farm and spend anywhere from two to six hours looking at your cattle, looking at your equipment, um, checking out your, your vaccines and where, and where those are being kept, are they stored properly? And once, the, once those criteria have been met by the auditor, then your group or that particular crop is noted as a verified natural because it is third party audited and they do have to be wearing their RFID agent source tags as well. The, uh, the veg fed component of, or the next button that comes up, um, that has been in place for a number of years, but it's only been within the last 18 to 18 months to 24 months that we have included that or incorporated that as part of the added value 
notations that you see in the catalog. The big difference is uh, we have realized over, or not we, but it has been realized that um, some of the tubs and some of the feeds uh, that have been used on either calves or backgrounded calves or in the feed yard include animal byproducts. And be sure when you submit your application for a verified natural that you review your, your mineral, your feed, uh, or your protein tubs uh, list of components pretty completely because there are two, essentially there are two things that, that have kicked cattle out of these verified programs, those being feather meal in, in lick tubs and, and whey. The interesting thing about milk whey is that if the calves receive that while they're on the cow, uh, obviously through milk, it is not considered an animal byproduct. It's only after the calves that have been weaned uh, that if they get access to milk whey, that it is considered a, an animal byproduct. So be sure to pay really close attention to your, uh, to your content labels, both on your feed, your tubs, uh, and your mineral. Uh, it can be a real surprise after you've marketed your cattle and realized that that the uh, contents of those of those feedstuffs do include do include things like feather meal or uh, milk whey. The next step, or the next uh, program that we're looking at there is the natural and natural plus programs. Those are both owner certified natural, which means that they don't you don't have to have a third party audit in order to participate. Use the producer or the feeder essentially sign off that, that those cattle have not been exposed to uh, any hormones or steroids or antibiotics, but it comes, right, it comes back to the owner uh, to verify those and to sign an affidavit assuring the buyer that those cattle uh, have not had any, any, uh, any additional um, hormones or antibiotics and, and that they've participated in an in a animal byproduct free uh, feedstuff. The difference between the natural and the natural plus essentially comes down to what the, what the packer's affidavit says. And each packer has a different affidavit. And oftentimes I've sold calves that, that will, will be followed up with five to seven different packer affidavits because the purchaser or the buyer of those cattle uh, wasn't sure or didn't know where he would uh, essentially sell those cattle once they were fat. So if your superior rep at, at shipping comes, comes to you and has four or five different packer affidavits for you to sign off on, that's why, because each packer has their own they all essentially say the same thing, but for some reason they like to they like to have their logo at the top on a on a uh, natural affidavit. The progressive genetics programs that that we note uh, or or uh, promote with the calves that sell on Superior um, come from just the recognition that the calves have been sired by, by bulls that, um, that have a reputation or seed stock producers that have, that have a reputation. In order for those seed stock producers to qualify, they essentially need to sell their, uh, or a portion of their cattle, either at public auction as a, at a bull sale or offer a significant number of those bulls uh, private treaty. It's just a, a way to verify the quality of the seed stock that we're using uh, is, above, is above the average. Programs like the Cattle Feeder Preferred, the Verified Grass-Fed, non-hormone or non-GMO and PI-free are, are programs that do 
that do set your calves separate from the majority of cattle that we see come across the screen. Uh, as far as what it means to you as a producer, you know, will we'll, uh, we'll backgrounders or feed yards pay significantly more for these programs? That's up for debate. It, it really depends on the demand that the consumer brings to the table and how, how the packer interprets those demands. Um, but noting those, you know, in the event that you're selling calves on Superior, noting those differences is certainly uh, adds value and separates your, your calves from, from the masses. I don't know how many of you have participated in the BQA certificate or certification. It's a national program that just that consumer, excuse me, that that producers can participate in. And it's essentially a class on how to handle cattle, uh, where shots need to go, how the cattle are cared for, um, and any it's available. You can either go to a set down a set down class scenario or take those take the course online. Uh, personally, I've attempted to take it online four different times and uh, have lost interest. But <laughs> it is all it's always important to uh, to make sure or to provide some, the consumer with some confidence in that how we handle our animals um, is is with the best best intentions uh, to to take good care of them. Those are the those are the prime or the are the added value programs that are noted um, on Superior. You know when cattle sell through Superior, I'm sure many of you are are familiar with our vaccination programs. Um, each of those, depending on you know whether you're whether you're uh, a producer that that has a that has an operation that needs to to uh, to ship straight off the cow. Um, here are the, here are the uh, requirements or criteria for each of those groups to, to qualify for. The, obviously the, the VAC 24, the VAC 34, and the VAC, VAC 34 plus are all vaccination programs for calves that are still on the cow. Um, the important part is, is that they're, that they've had a shot or had a round of, of, uh, killed, uh, IBR, uh, and PI3 pieces. Now I would encourage you to get with your veterinarian or with your, uh, with your drug provider to make sure that you are using a modified live, uh, IBR and a good quality clostridial uh, seven, eight, nine way um, component. The VAC 45 and 45 plus, uh, those again are just one, the 45s are two rounds of those vaccinations um, at, at branding and at weaning. The 45 plus includes a includes another booster. So essentially they're getting three rounds, one at branding, one at weaning or pre-weaning and one at post-weaning. Um, all of those are, are, are valuable things from a buyer's perspective because we want, we need the cattle. If we're buying these cattle to go on to a background or a yard, we need to know that, that, uh, that they've had the appropriate vaccinations in a timely fashion. The VAC 60, the VAC 60 programs are much like the VAC 45s. It's only the, the primary difference is that those calves have been weaned 60 days prior to delivery as opposed to 45 or straight off the cow. But the vaccination, you know, the everyone pays from a buyer's standpoint. Everybody wants to know what the cattle have had, when they had it, were the vaccinations the appropriate you know, the appropriate kind, i.e. modified live, uh, and, and know that those calves have the best opportunity for survival going forward. That kind of, that kind of wraps up my review of the, of the vaccination and uh, added value programs, and I'm happy to, to answer any questions. 
I realize it's a, a little bit different scenario where I can uh, call on hands that are in the audience, but if there are questions uh, that I can answer, uh, I'd love to, and, and uh, Kalen, I believe, is going to call if, if he has questions, or somebody's going to call on my cell and we'll repeat the question and answer them to the best of my ability. Each of the programs have a have a a value or a dollar equivalent to them, depending on what your operation will will uh, allow from a handling standpoint, how much time and effort you want to put into uh, completing applications and visiting with an auditor. Uh, I would say that that the vaccination programs would have a difference of oh. Uh, depending on which vaccination program you you participate in, I would uh, I would say that that would make a difference of somewhere between four and ten dollars per hundred uh, weight in in using appropriate vaccination programs. As far as the added value programs go, um, it really depends on on where at what point in time. Uh, you sell and ship your calves. If they come off, if you sell right off the cow, uh, or if you own or wean your calves, or you retain ownership, essentially the the where the most benefit or bang for your buck comes in is when uh, is when you own those cattle uh, through the feed yard process, uh, and those programs or those uh premiums will add anywhere from a hundred dollars up to three hundred and fifty dollars of premium over the fat market if you own them if you retain ownership and own them through the feed yard most of my clients uh i would say as much as 90 90 percent of the clients that i represent here in north central texas uh either sell straight off the cow or as weaned calves rarely Rarely do they own uh, or re retain ownership through the through the backgrounding or even into the feed yard. And with that in mind, you can expect you know somewhere uh, if you're if you're selling the calves straight off the cow or as wean calves, I would I would suggest that depending on which programs you've got that they participate in, that that added value component would add somewhere between oh four and twelve dollars a hundred depending on the programs that you're participating in the it really comes back to the headache to return factor honestly and truly um, you know the the easy the the straightforward approach would would be to go ahead and get them agent sourced and participate in the programs that you have that cost is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of two and a half to three and a half dollars per head. But at the same time, if they're if you make that that uh, that investment in tagging those cattle or getting them them uh, verified, uh, agent source verified, you're looking at you could be looking at a return of 50 to 60, even $70 dollars uh, for that five you know, four, three and a half to four, um, four dollar investment. So I would encourage you to visit with your superior reps, visit with your veterinarians. Uh, if there's any questions, um, you know, see that, see that you get those aired out. Most of the, or the superior reps and have a really good feel as to what programs actually mean for cattle in your area. And uh, I wish you the best of luck. Thank you.